Hey, good evening. Welcome to New York Nerd Show. I am All That Pat. If you're watching live, you may have just seen Bitter Ritz and I eat some dinner. Uh, yes, we did do a HelloFresh. Uh, definitely check the video. Um, you take a look at our uh, other videos on YouTube or on Facebook or on Twitch and check out this delicious recipe because I am full and I am ready to talk about wacky packages. That's right. Tops. I um, started the whole gross out gang uh, game back in the day, I think in the 1970s. And they went to Garbage Pail Kids to really greater fame in the 1980s. But they still do make these. Wacky packages are still a thing. These are actually back in time. These are from 2005. Believe it or not, I purchased these recently. If you want to see the other wacky packages that ooh, I might have in this big old binder right here, check out some of our old videos on, again, on YouTube and all those other uh, resources like Facebook and Twitch. Now, with that being said, you may be looking at the little ticker going down on the bottom of the screen. But we always do ask you to like, share, and subscribe. It's always a, you know appro a, approved, appreciated. Um, but right now, we're getting to the end of May. And that lets you know, I hope that you understand that at the end of every month, we do a contest. We tally up all the different likes, the shares, the subscribes for all of our videos. And you get an entry into a contest to get a random pack, nerd made, of course, of vintage trading cards. What could it be? Could there be some GPK cards? Could there be a, uh, like, I don't know, well, uh, I almost said Aladdin. We haven't seen any of those yet. But could there be cards from like Five Old America's Tale Goes West? Could there be Batman, Simpsons, a variety of all? Who knows? The only way that you will know is if you give us uh, some, again, some shares, likes, and subscribes. Again, we always do appreciate those things. But enough of me blabbering. Let's go ahead and get started. And we're going to check out three packs of Wacky Packages, a new series, two. Again, uh, originally came out in 2005. Um, really, it was one of the another second big pushes for the Garbage Hill Kid and uh, Wacky Packages um, lines. You know, they kind of went a little dark, a little dormant um, in the 90s. Uh, late 90s wasn't a whole lot, but then once those 2000s came around, they've been pretty uh, solid ever since. You know, there's a couple different eras that aren't necessarily well represented, but for the last 20 or so years, they have been making these Wacky Packages um, one of the sets that's pretty cool is you actually could get, and I'm kind of going off topic, which I always do. Uh, they actually had wacky packages erasers. They would come like a, with a sticker of the item itself, right? And then they would actually come with these little eraser um, design character uh, pieces. If you would like to see those covered on a show, I've got a bunch. Put it in the comments. Would you like to see me cover the wacky packages erasers? Like I said, they're pretty neat, and they haven't done anything like that uh, with any other series that I know of. But if you want to see that, leave a comment either in the chat right now or are you watching the video going forward. With that being said, let's rock and roll. Let's bust open our first pack of Wacky Packages stickers, a new series 2, also known as ANS2. The same kind of abbreviation is done with the Garbage Folk Kids as well. So if you're ever looking at these listed anywhere and you see um, ONS, uh, that is the original series. <coughs> Excuse me. ANS is the um, the newer series, and BNS is the brand new series that usually refers to um, the general set that's newer today. But a lot of the sets these days are actually already themed. Like um, I have wacky packages go to the movies. Those uh, you can look at our YouTube page, and you can see some of those videos as well when I covered those. All right, here we go. First pack up here for wacky packages, a new series two. Now again, I would suggest that you look at some of our old videos on this because I may or may not have gotten some uh, specialty cards. And with that being said, specialty cards for this set involve tattoos and wacky magnets. Um, so basically, the odds are pretty good on those. Um, the newer series of Garbage Pail Kids definitely have very high uh, or low odds, I should say, of getting the specialty cards. But in these, uh, one out of six packs has a tattoo, while one in four have a magnet. That's yeah, you know, that's not bad. That's a pretty good, uh, you know, uh, likeliness, quite honestly. IMO. All right, here we go. I don't know if I'm just getting old or what it is, but I can't open these packs anymore. But there it goes. All right, so here we go. First package right here. Here we go. I love this set, too, because um, the backing is pretty cool. Because sometimes on the backing of the cards, you'd have a puzzle. Sometimes you'd have, like, you know, just uh, nothing. These particular sets, though, they have, like, little advertisements for either t uh, TV channels um, or, like, websites and things like that. They're pretty funny, actually. Um, 
and it gives a lot of like you know nostalgic feeling uh, for like Mad Magazine and Cracked. So if you're big into like the parody cards, this will definitely tickle the funny bone and uh, hit that nostalgic uh, you know twitch, so to speak. So starting with that, without even looking at the front of the cards, we have the Robo Sappy Man um, in the 1990, 19, 2000, I should say. This is actually a pretty good, um, uh, pretty well known popular toy. Uh, it was like the Robo Sapien. It was basically a little toy robot that stood honestly about this big. It was it was pretty tall, probably about a foot, foot and a half. Um, and I don't remember. I worked at KB Toys at the time. I think we carried it. I think there's a Dino Sapien as well. But that could be just my nostalgia, you know, my, my memory kind of blurring. Regardless, Robo Sapien right here. All right. So basically, it's a fusion of technology and sheer idiocy. It's like having a real moron for a servant. Dumb, dumber, dumbest. Buy it now. The stupid android that goofs up on even the silliest tasks. You can go to the website and click on About Us, Our Mission, and Our Mom's Cork Collection. Because, come on, who would not like a cork collection? I mean, if I had a cork collection, I would definitely make it a website. I mean, that kind of goes without saying. This is very um, dated. Uh, I don't believe this exists anymore. But if you remember, Ask Jeeves. Ask Heaves. So if you want to uh, Google search what it takes to vomit, there you go. So you can learn how to vomit, puke, throw up, barf, plots, and subplots. I don't even want to know what a plot is, but subplots, I get the little joke there for sure. So it's a search engine for people whose stomachs are easily upset. I love how the who, shoe up my, who threw up my gym shoe. can only imagine. So that is basically the backing of one, that other card. Again, we're going to see what the actual uh, parody is on the other side. Um, grunge blob Swiss cheese. All right. I guess I take on SpongeBob SquarePants. Believe it or not, SpongeBob is over 20 years old. Absolutely bonkers to think about that. I believe it started in 1999. So we're looking at, I think, 22 years as of this uh, recording. So this is actually a whole lot of thing about the Nickelodeon uh, website, actually. Um, Ick.com instead of Nick.com. So you have like a, um, a parody of Jimmy Neutron right there in the corner. And then we also, I think, have uh, the Rugrats, the Thugrats. Very nice. Bat Frog instead of Cat Dog. Uh, and there's your schedule. Again, do they have these shows still on Nick? Let's see. All Messed Up, as told by Gin Drinkers. Hey, Barn Mold, Act Real Mobsters. Kind of amusing. Uh, the Wild Dingleberries. There you go. Keep it classy, Nick. Uh, the Wild Dingleberry, Serena the Teenage Felon, Ick Robot Boars, The Harry Clod Parents, and Angry Heavers. Uh, I got to say, what, what's your favorite of these uh, fake Nickelodeon shows? I got to say, I'm probably a fan of the Wild Dingleberries. Uh, that kind of makes me laugh right there for sure. All right. Then the rest of these, uh, the two, two other cards, we have um, two puzzle pieces. These are representing the... Um, the bling, uh, the bling dongs, I think is what they are. And then one more, which again is always appreciated, is a checklist on the back. Definitely helps keep track of what you got. All right, now let's take a look at what you're really here for, and that is to see what the actual parody products are. So right here, we actually have one that's off the uh, the cover, like the other packaging. That bazooka, right, right there on the lower right. Now oh, there it is. Beware bazooka honey flavored gum. Bubble gum with bee, real bees in it, of course, packs a sting. There's Bazooka Joe all messed up with all those bee stings. Uh, hopefully he's not allergic like Macaulay Culkin and my girl. Bitter it's too soon. It's too soon. She's a big fan of that movie. Uh, all right. It's Starduck's Coffee. It's for the birds. Not much to that one, quite honestly. But, you know, if you can rhyme bucks with ducks, you got a card. Um, that's kind of amusing here. Stiffer corp dusters, because we need those. And it picks skulls clean. I bet you they use those in the uh mortuaries, I'm sure. Maybe here's a connection to my girl as well. Maybe they use it in Dan Aykroyd's Mort mortuary. Mm, that's a stretch, I know. Um Hertzies kick kisser kissers. Hertzies kissers. I'll get that one out eventually. Um Ugly mugs of punchy thugs, chocolate coated shrunken heads that pack a wallop. Okay, 
I'm not quite sure how I feel about this card, but I'm a little offended because missing a front tooth right now, I have a nice broken tooth. Well, chip tooth, so, you know, hits home too much. No. Uh, <laughs> Senior Mints, Cranky Mints, and Pure Confusion. Look at that. Senior Mints. Yum, yum. And finally, Bandaging for Mummies, a reference for dead Egyptian kings. Learn to wrap birthday and holiday gifts and yourself. That's kind of funny. I like the little tag on the top of it. So again, as you're joining us tonight, we do appreciate you coming in. We're taking a look at Wacky Packages, uh, a new series, too, uh, from 2005. About 17, 16 years old. I do math well. So again, uh, take a look at some of our other videos that we've done in the Crazy Card Collecting Series. You'll see us open up some Garbage Fail Kids. You see some other wacky packages, um, some vintage cards, like, again, Simpsons and Batman. Uh, we did do some Disney cards where it was um, uh, Hunchback of Notre Dame versus Pocahontas. That was a good one. All right, so here's our next set. Once again, taking a look at the uh, the backs first. Now that we've actually gone through quite a few packs, we're starting to see some duplicates, which is always disappointing, but, you know, but what are you going to do? All right, so first three card backs we have here are just puzzle pieces. You know, maybe we can actually put together some puzzles at some point. These are uh, representing the, the Drake's uh, the Drake's bling dings over here. Okay, so there's that. And then the other backings of the cards. Uh, yeah, we have seen these ones before. So I'll just kind of show them briefly, and then if you want to actually see like what they say, watch our other wacky packages on New Series 2. We'll go over what they actually say in more detail. There's the eye nod. There's the gargle. And then there is the slops. These are pretty uh, amusing backings for sure. All right, so the other side, though, the actual um, product that they're showing, um, these are all duplicates for me. Um, again, we did take a look at these in the previous episode. We'll take a look at these now. We have the Ghoul Whip. We have Castro Motor Oil, like Fidel Castro, right there. That's a timepiece right there. I think he's been deceased for about a decade now. Could be wrong. If you're part of his family, let me know. Or maybe don't. Um, Queer Cell, Freaky Face Wash. Snorritos. And then we've got old metal files and following it up with epoxy maximum glue. So again, we will go over these cards a little bit more in detail on uh, our previous episode for um, Wacky Packages, the new series too. Uh, I guess that one uh, dropped last week. So you can check that episode out in the YouTube. Um, the uh, YouTube, I'm sure that's what everybody calls it nowadays. I'm getting old, I'm telling you. Um, so as you can see on the ticker below, though, just want to give you guys a reminder and a, a thank you uh, for joining us tonight and also being a, a, you know, a supporter of the New York Nerd Show because without you, I'd just be sitting in a bedroom talking to nobody, which I guess it's okay, right? You know, no. Um, but in all reality, every month we do a, uh, a special contest where basically for every time you've ever ever liked you've subscribed you commented on a video um basically anytime you've had like interaction with us they, it's trackable anyway for us um you do win an opportunity to get a um a specialty made new york nerds put together variety pack of nostalgic trading cards you might get a little bit of simpsons cards a little bit of donkey kong cards a little bit of batman cards a little bit of I don't said honey shrink to kids. I don't think those exist. But the bottom line is we put together a little nice pack of cards for you, uh, representing some of the most, uh, I'd say some of the best, but definitely some of the weirdest cards that we've shown on our uh, shows, and we'll send them to you. Be very excited to have that come your way, I hope. And, yeah, just let us know. But basically on June 1st, we're going to announce our next winner, or maybe winners, depending on how many we have and what the tie is. But I got some cool news for you right here. As I mentioned, um, there are two different types of specialty cards in the Wacky Packages and New Series 2. There's tattoos and there are Wacky Magnets. Now, I knew that we were getting one of these in another pack because I kind of cheated and I threw the whole pack up to my refrigerator and it stuck. Apparently, that wasn't the only one that I got because we got another magnet right here. If you want to see what the other one is, again, shameless plug, check out our last episode. Here we go. We don't even have this card at all yet, which is cool. A-Jerks, blue dot, 
the do nothing cleanser, you got to be a jerk to use it. Like it. And again, you can stick it on the refrigerator. If you want to have a nice classy area, go ahead and do it. Um, let's see. I'm taking a look. Oh, I love it. This whole pack is brand new. Uh, of the three packs you opened tonight, only one had real duplicates in it, quite honestly. This one is totally new, though. Um, you might not like uh, an Almond Joy. I don't think you're going to like this one even better because Salmon Joy Chocolate Covered Salmon. Mm, 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 mm. Only 35 cents, but if you notice the funny homophone, oh, yeah, S-C-E-N-T-S. The comedy never stops or starts sometimes. Then we have uh, Vermina Rat Chow, Nutrition for the Healthy House Pest. But they find it's interesting on the side of the, the bag, apparently they're trying to make a comment that uh, you get nothing but trash in the bag of uh, Purina because there's cigarettes and screws and other kinds of assorted nonsense. So, yeah. Oh, good to know. Now with paint chips. Thank God. What would we do without paint chips? Now, I went out of order this time because I got a little excited about the magnet. I'll show you the back of the cards uh, after I show the fronts. Um, <laughs> good time of the year, by the way, because we're coming up on a hot dog season. Nothing's infamous invisible beef franks. You ain't seen nothing yet. The zero uh, ounce net weight. And new 50% bigger than nothings. Oh, zero total carbs per dog, just so you know. Uh, then we got some batteries for you if you need those for flashlights this summer. These ones are Durasmell Cruddy Top Revolts with a salting battery right before you use them. There you go. Good old Durasmell. Boo, boo, boo. I think that's how it goes. And then, actually, we got... I have to double check. It might be off. But anyway, we have Cheapo's Crunchy, a Grungy, I should say, a parody of Cheetos. Uh, stay away, cheese flavored packing peanuts. Yummy. I, I can go for some Cheetos right now. I'm not going to lie. So even how nasty this looks makes me kind of want some Cheetos. But I don't want Cheapo's, though. That's for sure. All right. So let's go ahead and take a back look on the backs of these. It's like we started tonight. Um, well, in this last pack, we did get a magnet of a jerks very nice and then let's see um wow no uh no puzzles now this is kind of cool we i don't actually um i've never seen this one before it is a checklist but this is for the specialty insert cards so there's a list of all the tattoos on the left and then all of the clear cling stickers on the right now is that what they're considering the magnets or is clear cling stickers that's weird. I mean, or there might be just clear. I, I don't know. I, I That's what it looks like to me because I don't see anything else that would match that. Uh, my mom would love this. Well, the real version of it. StarTrash.com. We have, let's see. We'll start at the top. Follow the crew of the center sh center ship as they, they boldly go where no garbage man has ever gone before. Go to high-tech garbage cans. Separate your recyclables or visit our garbage dump on Pluto. Not a planet, but was when this came out. Uh, let's see. Mars attacks. Gosh, that is old. Their untimely trash pickup schedule and the complaints about their garbage bill. Okay. Um, right there in the center, got some UPN comments. I don't know if UPN still a thing. Um, don't miss the next disgusting episode of Star Trash Enterprise Fridays on OPN, which is the Obnoxious Future Network. Links to the originals, uh, original characters from the original Star Trash, like Captain Jerk, Mr. Schlock, Snotty, and Lieutenant Yoo Hu Yu. Right. Uh, more news in the production report. Producers talk T Prawl out of plastic surgery. No ears and eyebrows job for her, as previously reported. All these characters are very uh, dated, and many of them are not, and I, I don't know much about them, but. Um, think this is still around, but you had Priceline back in the day, but instead you can sign in your suckers on Price Lie. You can sign up for haircuts, vacation packages, and tattoos. The lowest price is available anywhere, but read the small print. There might be a catch, of course. I was trying to see what that said. All right. Fly any destination in the continental U.S. for $5. Do not think I'd even trust that anyway. And since this deal does not include airfare, we're sure... 
we'd sure like to see you try. Um, luxury hotel, four days, four nights for $10. Does not include room, meals, phone, etc. But you can sleep in the lobby if you don't get caught. Does not include bail. That's pretty funny. Car rental, two weeks for only $8. With steering wheel, tires, and interior seating. It costs a lot extra, though. Ocean liner, one cent sale. Buy this luxury liner for for $800 million and get a second one for a penny. And it's got the Titanic. Find the best deal. Save a fortune on this useless junk. Check out these values. Empty toothpaste tubes, used toothbrushes, glass fly swatters, and melted ice cubes. Yes, get that melted ice cube. And then you can get some great savings on used chewing gum and dead house plants. Alrighty. Got two more. Next one is about Gap. Uh, it's Jip. Uh, men, women, children, toddlers, babies, and farm animals. Cheap clothes at high prices. Get gypped at the gyp. I don't know about that one. I think that's kind of dated right there. You'll say Eureka, and your friends will say Eureka. Thrift store fashion at the steepest possible prices. Watch our TV ads featuring Sarah Messica Porker. Sign up to receive annoying spam for the rest of your life. This month, all garments come infested with designer lice. And this week, only free moths to the first 100 customers. And last but not least, at the back of the Purina Rat 2, we have Old Navels. Oh, just a beautiful picture of people with their belly buttons. Shopping bag, old bag, clothes for old men, clothes for old women, belly button accessories because we need those for sure. Um, let's see, fashions, em emphasizing the belly button for senior citizens. Item of the week, bare belly granny tops, $5 off for Civil War vets. Uh-huh. You could win $25,000 by playing belly button bingo. Yes, yes, and more yes. Well, tonight, you have joined me for some crazy card collecting as you took a look at the remaining packs of my Wacky Packages Series 2 from 2005. If you'd like to see some of the other Wacky Packages that I opened, take a look at some of our old episodes. We did do another uh, one of these episodes last week. And check out any of our crazy card collecting episodes because you'll be able to see all the Garbage Fell Kids we've gotten, um, all the other nostalgic cards. And you can put in the uh, comments, like, what ones would you like to see us hunt down maybe and uh, check out? Because I know we've gotten a lot of requests for um, Dinosaurs Attack uh, when we were doing our Dinosaurs TJF cards. So maybe we could take a look at those. But one last mention about what you've seen on the ticker down here all episode. And that is that we are coming to the end of the month of May. If you're watching this at, at live right now or in this time frame, every month we do a special contest for if you make a, a subscription, give a like um, or subscribe or tell people around it, share all that stuff. Any way that's trackable, basically, you know, so we can kind of see if you, you know, that you're there, um, you get entered into a contest to win a nostalgic variety pack of cards that we put together, New York Nerds, with love and care, put this together, and you have the opportunity to win it. You never know what's going to be in it, but I, we guarantee if you're watching this show right now, you're going to probably throw it out. No, nah, I mess with you. you you're going to love it. You're going to get a kick out of it, and uh, we'd love to share those with you. So again, Please like, please share, subscribe, share the word of the nerd. It really helps us out. And uh, I don't know, just we just enjoy seeing like the feedback and interaction with you guys. I guess the fans we can call you, right? Uh, but no, we're happy to have you here tonight, guys. And uh, thank you so much. We can watch all of our old episodes on YouTube, Facebook, or Twitch. Um, we have well over, I think now I can say 150 episodes. I don't count, but I know there's a lot. Anyway, uh, check us out, though, for the rest of the week. We have um, a variety of shows that we do air. Uh, right now it's Monday, so you're looking at crazy card collecting. Now, Tuesday and Wednesday, we are flipping the shows. So on Tuesday, we're going to have the game room tomorrow at 8 p.m., while Wednesday, we're going to have Slam Nation Wrestling. It's a special episode. I'll be joined with a couple guests, um, AJ and John. We're going to be taking a look at the AEW Double or Nothing pay-per-view that's coming up this weekend. We're going to be talking about our predictions, our thoughts, and all those other things. So check that out. Thursday, it's I stream, you stream. We're going to be taking a look at the brand new show that's on Hulu Plus, Marvel's MODOK. Uh, yeah, Lord Cash, Bitter Ritz, and myself definitely have some opinions on that show. So check us out on 8 o'clock um, on Thursday. Friday is Funko Royalty, and then Saturday is Mail Call, Mail Time. Lord Cash is going to be sharing um, a uh, what he got in his most recent Wizarding World uh, set. So take a look at that. We also have a Dinosaur Dracula coming up pretty soon, too. All right. Well, I guess that's it. 
Thank you so much for joining me tonight on the New York Nerd Show. Do appreciate it, as we always say. Uh, until tomorrow, have a great night. Get something to eat. Relax. Whatever the things you do at night. But please make sure they do them and have fun with it. Anyway, adios. Catch you later.